Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Welcome to The Advocate. You know how it goes. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holes barred. However, that is where the familiar ends and the adventure begins. Libras is teaching us Chinese and begins with a demonstration of his own. He's saying, you never know when, you just might need it. Chuka suddenly isn't speaking in another tongue. In fact, he says, forget the charade that, that is decency. Chuka, really? Aisha Yesufu is back. Yes, the bring back our girls, Aisha. She's breaking it down with some broken English and is saying, die not die. Ekene is also speaking on death, a little morbid, you might think. She's saying we only get one shot at it, so make it count. I, on the other hand, am quickening things up by saying, get off your backside, you armchair critics. It's time for action, right after the break. There's an Igbo proverb that says, whenever you wake up, it's your morning. So I say, good morning to you. Time is now. My advocacy today is a call to action for our armchair critics not satisfied with the level of governance to participate. A country of wise men that refuses to play politics will ultimately be ruled by fools. The recent expose of the rotten NDDC saddled with the responsibility of providing quality living conditions for the people of the Niger Delta as a result of their contribution to our commonwealth through all exploration in the region leaves a sour taste in the mouth of anyone who cares for this country. This is one agency, I wonder, what would come out of an audit of revenue generating agencies like NNPC, Customs Service, or even FIRS. Miscreants now constitute a significant block of our voting population, and very soon, thugs would start vying for and holding elective positions at all levels of governance. This is because of the failure of our social contract in ensuring inclusiveness in the distribution and benefits of our collective wealth. In a democracy, our rulers are older versions of the popular kids in school. The only difference is that politicians are champions in the Olympic of popularity contest. They are painfully weak on substance, but have an amazing ability to make people like them. And if they must choose between being right and being popular, they do not think twice. They are Olympians. Their overriding priority is winning. Participating in governance does not necessarily mean holding or contesting for elective position, but rather be a part of the movement, creating awareness and empowering the voting population with information and knowledge with about expectations from individuals seeking elective positions. This should be continuous process and not necessarily before election. The time is now. I will close with a quote from my brother-in-law that says, whenever you decide not to get involved, other people less prepared will do that on your behalf in a way that affects your daily life and you may not like the results. Let me kick off by saying, um, you know, essentially what we're all well, a lot of us are desirous of is to see collective, synchronized, even if it's opposition to what's in power. I, I, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no point everybody, everybody's an expert at criticizing. Absolutely. But it's very hard to get uh, the kind of proactive r remedy. Even, even our program, a lot of times people critique the advocates and say, oh, we're just here doing a talk shop, that we're not preferring solutions, even though we do. They feel that there isn't enough practical, like now, okay, let's take your advocacy. And you're saying, you should be able to do something more than just critique. But someone will say, okay, what do you want me to do? They want you to spell it out. What do you want me to do? Because a lot of people are overwhelmed. Even when the recent Revolution Now protests I saw, 
I looked at, I saw lots of billboards up there. There were several things. I saw something on housing. I saw something on unemployment. I saw something on, on, on those their billboards that they had printed out. I saw something on even the health sector. It's, it, it's distracting. Everyone seems to want to make a name for themselves. So who is going to now collaborate with the existing body? Like maybe you say you want to get behind Sarah, or you want to get behind Teach for Nigeria. So I agree with you that the Commonwealth hasn't been inclusive enough. And the few of us that are there I don't necessarily see the link between those that do not have and the state we're in. So we need to do more. Maybe for me, the priority would be the education sector. Teach for Nigeria, for example, I love what they're doing. I would get behind them. Why must we each go and set up our own NGO? Why can't we get behind? That's my own contribution to the conversation. Yeah, I think that's a useful one. Uh, I have a problem with when, you, when you're supporting someone else. I have a, it's, it's, it's sad, but I have a kind of um, distrust okay. of Nigerians in politics or activism, as if there's always an agenda. And for that reason, I don't want to Sign up. join up with anybody. Yes, which is which is a very difficult problem for me. Yeah, I'm because stating we need, my own to, we need to do problem. something about that. I, I don't know, you know, I, I feel that way, and so it's very difficult. So but you I, understand why we need to collaborate. We need to, yeah, we need to collaborate, yes. Yes, I mean directly assuming that, that I'm, or rather it means that from the way I've just spoken, I mean directly saying that I'm a good person, right? Mm. For me to say, yes. I don't trust anybody Everyone else. else. Yes. Aha. So where, where, how, how do we, where do we get go from beyond, here? how do we get over that? Yeah. Uh, um, for me, uh, really, what we are doing is participation. Mm. Yeah. But everyone yeah. can be on the advocate. Yeah, no. What so I'm what saying, are you saying, saying they should do? This is, this is, that's what people don't know. This is massive We're education. Yeah, but what massive. should the masses then do? Wait, okay, okay, let me be patient. I'll share some things. Mm. This is massive education and awareness. Mm, because sometimes, some people feel that some of the things that, you know, people do in government are real. They are, they are, that's the way it ought to be anyway. Okay. Until you come and say, no, this is not it and it shouldn't be like that. And then you find out that also, at every turn, these people reach out to you to say, oh, the governor just did this. Is it right or wrong? Mm. In their own little sphere, they go out to reach other people. Mm. It's, it, it is a, a country where illiteracy level is so high. You first and foremost need to create that education to create awareness, especially with the kind of poverty that you have. After we talked about protests, you know you can't sustain a protest in Nigeria for one week, except, except you have taken care of hunger. I, and you know, so the first thing should be find a way to educate people. There are people who ordinarily never wanted to be involved in politics, who from hearing from other people now feel, you know what, I just can't sit down like this. I must do something. Not all of us can be possessed by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we will be shouting hallelujah. So that's why some of us will consistently be on this side to educate and create awareness. And then you'll be shocked that a lot of people, look at the number of people that participated in the last election, you know, in terms of campaigns. Mm. If they had told you that people like Banky W would come out before to say, I want to be he part of impact. it, yeah. you wouldn't he believe. Impact, yes. But he came out. Mm. And then secondly, it is not left for us to say, you know what, Banky, you failed because you didn't start early. If you start early, we'll back you. you would go more. Absolutely. And which is what you are doing now. Yeah. If you sit down there and assume that everybody would just know that this is what they can this is do, what they can do yeah, you'll be right. missing it. Okay, because those people who are dealing with us, you know, are not resting. They are also educating their people. Okay. You know, there's a saying that the excuses are like shoes. And you always find the one that fits. So when we don't want to do something, we will do everything to, to, to make excuses and not do it. And, and in, in doing making those excuses, we will justify the reason why we are not doing it so that we feel good about ourselves. And I think that's where uh, most Nigerians are. So you have said a lot of things. We have put so much together in this. But I'm just going to take some of them, you know, just one by one as quickly as I, as, as I can. First of all, I think every Nigerian should know that nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you a voice. Every one of us, we have voices. Even those who, are, unfortunately, biologically, they can't speak. Some of them can, they have sign languages. They can, they can make their impact known. So we find out that a lot of Nigerians sit back at home and they are expecting activists to do work for them. 
There is nothing. I, I, for me personally, I don't do labor. If you go to my Twitter handle, you see what I say. I am me. I don't do labor. This is exactly one of the reasons. Even right from as a child, I refuse to do labor. Because what happened with labor is that they try to box you in one place and, oh, you are the activist. Why are you not talking? When all of us not get mouths, we know a bit talk. I mean, the thing where they, where they, where they, the problem where we get for, the, for our country, you know, they affect anybody. I will come to make them, those demands. Not be everybody to enjoy it. So the issue of waiting for activists to come and do something, and that's why some over time we continuously hear people say that what is their agenda? Oh, don't mind them. They are looking mm, for contract. They are looking contract. for, for appointment. Stop. It is time for us to stop. Every one of us must be an active citizen. And normally, when they say, "How do I introduce?" I said, "For me, I'm an active citizen." I see something that is wrong, I'm going to talk about it. And I think that's why every Nigerian, what we should begin to do. Let's not wait and think, oh, there are certain critics that should criticize. Why the rest of us are having fun, we are enjoying our life. Some people should put their lives on the line and be the ones to be calling out. And then we'll be the ones to come, they will pay the price, and the rest of us will enjoy it. That's we'll not say, the way we'll it's going to be. We want to do that. I shall. I send them. I shall. Let me, don't, don't, let me we'll come. We'll bring it to your own advocacy, because our time is up on this segment. Okay, you asked a very oh, important oh, okay. question, and that what can we do? I would say one thing. If all Nigerians would adopt one person, education is very key. Yeah. If you would adopt one so that person and empower that person with knowledge, yeah. fund that person's school, that whole family, that generation has been lifted from poverty. Yeah. You remember what I talked about, the thugs? They are moving those people because they lack the skills. Yeah. We need to empower them, give them education. Education, education, that's what my advocacy would be. Well, I've delivered my advocacy in a language I hope we understand. After the break, Libros switches to speaking in tongues. Or is it Chinese? Libros? Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs>